Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, or good evening. This is Billy. Thank you for joining me today at Billy Holman Creations. Um, my last video that I was I had put up this week was a um, flower bloom, which I had never tried, and I had the opportunity to go for it because my resin was really getting warm, and I was afraid of a flash gear. So that was my previous video, and I hope you can watch that one. So today I'm going to try again, uh, this time not so much in a hurry. I will try to take my time, but watch the heat. So thus far I have uh, made up 12 ounces of my amazing clear cast resin. And I've got two containers with my piping bags ready to go. I was asked to do a turquoise set of four. So I will be using um, Sea Wave, which is a, a soap dye, pigment dye. Uh, that's the turquoise I have. And I have some dollar store glitter here, which is turquoise or close to it. I'll be using my, um, just for you online UK, uh, white shimmer. And along with my white shimmer, I'll be using my casting craft. And I do have a peacock blue from Just For You, uh, you Resin UK. Well, I can never say that right. Right For You Online UK, which is now available in the United States. So I have a thermometer here, and I am going to uh, wait until my resin is at 40 uh, degrees Celsius. Right now it's at 23. So as I put you on pause, we will wait to see when this resin is warm enough to go. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Okay, everyone. Um, this is now at 30 degrees and I'm getting a little nervous. So I'm gonna go ahead and decant and mix the colors. Um, this resin has 45 minutes, <clears throat> pardon me, work time, and I have let this set for 25 minutes, so that leaves us 15 minutes to go, so I am going to get started. First of all, I am going to pour in two ounces to clear. We'll see how far that gets us. My little measuring cup, that's... Uh, 60 grams, I believe, milligrams. Let's get close to that, and by the time we get these colors together, we should be ready to pour. So, first of all, let's try to get a pretty color blue. Put in my C wave. One, two, let's try three of these. Let's see what happens there. Get a stick. Can you see me? That's a pretty color. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. I can just see that now. And it's getting thick. It's starting to make little mounds when you uh, hold it up. So. I might have done a smart thing there. I don't know. We will just see. But it is getting thick. Okay. My weight. Take some white shimmer. Stick. Put a little on the stick here. Don't need very much there. Just enough to cover the stick tip of the stick or even that I don't need that there why is that there are you gonna give me some color some shimmer hmm. stick Well, I guess I need a little more of that. Get a 
clean stick for that. A little speck of something in there. What that is. Don't want to get very heavy. Just double stick it. Hmm. Not getting much there. I see the shimmer. So let's see. Let's just go ahead and do my casting craft. Now the hole isn't very big, but I used three drops the other day in probably half of this amount of two, I'm gonna go four, three, four, oh, maybe a part, four and a half. No, honestly, that was a good five, so let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. I think we should be ready to go. It's not real opaque, but we're gonna make these light Light and beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Uh, what I'm using is, oh, my beautiful molds from Julie at Pouring Your Heart Out. Now I did give them a once over a minute ago, but I can see a couple of The specks. It's just amazing how specks show up. All right, I'm going to just pour. I like these molds because, well, for one, I like the geo aspect of it, the geode um, edging. And I also like that they're thin. Not that they look about the same too. All right, let me set that aside. Well, that'll be in my way over there. Okay, now. Oh, the glitter. I guess I need more for the glitter. I'm trying to be calm. Don't need very much. I don't want big, um, I don't want big centers. I'd have to add more glitter though. And this is just dollar store glitter. It's rather chunky. And I just poured some in my mold. Mix over here. What are we doing over here? Oh, we're still good over here. Okay, let's see if I can. Come on, I need a stick, another stick. Just in case. bigger than I anticipated. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. Scoot that in a little bit. Stragglers, come over here. probably more than what I needed but this one's really gonna spread I'm 
Or I should take some out. Maybe, maybe I should take some out. Let's see if I can just a bit. Get it back together. Hmm. Okay. Put that there. We're just going to go down. Get my. Can you see me? Probably too centered. Oh, I should have temp took the temperature. It's going to be a lot. For kicks and giggles. Let's see what we have. it would warm up quicker. 32. Well, at least that gives me time to play. And white. I'm going to try to make these really full with quite a few paddles. I guess we'll just see what happens. See, you can tell it's getting warm because it's starting to make little uh, little mounds when you do that, but it still could warm up a little more. So we'll just give it a second here. I did grab another mold for standby just in case I overdid. But let's give this a little heat. I'm gonna move this out of my way or I'm gonna spill it. Pardon the noise. Okay. Oh, you know what? It is getting warm. We're going for it. Now, pardon my elbow. I'm gonna get a piece of paper towel right there. These were really long bags, so I did uh, cut the tops off, and I wish they weren't so thick. So, see it won't stay. Let's like pinch it. What do I have here? Pinch this real quick. I would suggest the thinner type of bags. So, so it won't stick, twist and stay very well. So I wanted to start with the weight first. Change gears. All right, get it down to the tip. I'm just going to take an itsy bitsy piece off of here. See that tip? Okay. Probably won't need much. This is a weird tip on this bag. Well, there we go. To draw it down a little. Let's see what we have. All right, ready, set, go. Pardon my arms. I know you can't see very well with me doing this. One, two, three, four, five, six, so they're not very, seven, eight. One, two, three, 
Oops. Eight, oh, shoot, nine. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to get used to the spacing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, well. Oh well, let's get this tip down here, cut that off, it's a smidge, oh, oh that's pretty, and I'm going to go around, This is more like an ice blue, isn't it? Rotate. Gosh, I didn't do that, did I? No. This one's really moving. Oh, I'm getting it off the top. Make the mess, Bill. Get that off of there. I'm paying attention. Oh, no. I thought I did that one. I guess I didn't. bag is not working. You can't see where I stopped. Oh, I didn't do this one. Ah. More concerned about coming out the top than paying attention. Oh, no. Oh, that's big, that's big, that's big. Oh. Not in the center there. Oh, what happened there? Ah, squeezed out the top, didn't it? Yes. Okay. Not the right bags. Not the right bags. right here oh well I've watched it done many ways and it seems like no matter what they turn out pretty get that blue over there get this out of here oh that's a bummer wrong bags I think maybe I'll try again just using the Bending the spout of the cups. Where are we here? 
It's not too bad. Oh, I just got a mess going. I've got resin pouring out everywhere now, kids. Oh, I shouldn't say kids. I didn't mean to be rude. Okay. Gosh darn it. See, I can't twist it. It's not staying. And it's coming up curling. What's with that? Oh well. You can try again. Let's try one more round with the glue. I don't want to touch the mold. Oops. This one wants to go higher. Well, I can see some blooms. Honest to goodness, I can. Look at my hands. Some alcohol here. Put on my gloves, wipe them off. Whew. That alcohol's potent. Here we go. I'm going to bring them in. Yeah, we've got blooms. They're going to be very softly colored, though, aren't they? Not too opaque at all. I mean, yes, opaque. Sometimes I get confused. goodness I think they're pretty and a little heat push them in oh, I have to take the sound off of that that just gets me the sound of that um, I saw a hair a hair here disturb the flower but that is a piece of fuzz or hair and I believe I got it hang on boo I know give me a second 
Excuse me, I have a cat that wants out. Two seconds, maybe four. The artists I watch, there seems like there's always a pet involved. Dogs, cats, birds. Let me take my handy dandy flashlight to this and see. Oh, can you see that there? Very subtle, but very pretty. I can get this blue off of there. Maybe. Got a little bit of it off. Oh my gosh, they're blooming. Yes, they are. Sometimes I can't tell if the little bit of, you know, shimmer is shimmer or a bubble. Oh, look at that. Well, maybe I found my way. Maybe I found my way. Oh, goodness. All right, everyone, I'm going to give this a little more air, heat. I don't have a torch, and um, apparently they're not a good idea. Um, I mean, you have to be fast and very careful. So I'm going to let this set. Um, I might check back in maybe an hour or so and show you what they're looking like. And I appreciate just you all very much. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in a little while. Have a, the best day ever. Bye. Well, I shouldn't have done that. I should have brought you down closer, for goodness sakes. I see. This is my phone on a phone on a stick. Maybe you can see a little better. See how they are blooming? Oh, lovely. Okay, I'll let you go. Bye. Hi, everyone. Here's an update. Um, it's been about three and a half hours since I did these flowers. And they are blooming very nicely. I will try um, to do a little more opaque um, on the next flowers. These are so delicate. See the white petals are just a shimmer of them there. Anyway, I can't wait till tomorrow. So, just a little update. I'll see you in a little while. Have a good day. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm ready to demold these turquoise beauties. So, look how easily they slide out. Just lovely. And I apologize for not having you completely in frame yesterday. Um, that was my fault, my bad. They're still a little soft, but that's okay. Get them out of here and move that lovely mold. Come here and make sure you're in frame properly today. And I can move down just a little bit. And here we go. Oh, look at that. That turned out so pretty. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Um, my client wants the clear back, so I will leave them clear. But, uh, oh, they all turned out so lovely. Look at that. Gosh, I'm so tickled. Let me show you um, with the black background. And they all match perfectly. Let me show you here. The white, they're so soft, so soft and delicate. Um, let's just go with the black. Oh, and I do like the black. I can see all the fine shine, the fine little petals, not, no blobs. I'm so excited. So, what I'm going to do is clean the edges up just a tad, get right back to you, and I am going to paint the edges with my trusty testers paint. And then when they're through, I've got a package of bumpers here that I'm going to put 
on the bottom. So let me go ahead and get that done and I'll be right back when they are completely finished. Just a moment. Well, here they are. I've got the edges painted and I'm gonna let them set and dry for a bit before I uh, put my bumpers on. And I'll take them outside and show you a beautiful picture of them in the sunlight. And let me see if I can lower this phone stand just a little bit. Oh, just a little bit. Oh, they are very pretty, aren't they? All right, well, I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you for watching. And please uh, like and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Well, here they are, everyone, my beautiful blooms. Oops. I'm struggling with my camera here. Teal. Aren't they pretty? They turned out really nice. I can't back up. I'm trying. Okay. There we go. There we are. Lovely. Right there. Beautiful picture. Appreciate you watching. Thank you. Have a great day.